the first time that I'm using Git, I need to set it up so that it knows who I am and it knows what my username and password is. That way I can push up to my repositories. Note, what I'm showing you here is what you need to do for uh, working in the shell, working with RStudio, or working with Visual Studio Code. If you're using GitHub Desktop, it'll take care of these steps for you. So first thing, tell it who I am. git config global user.name and then git config global user.email Okay, so now it knows who I am. The next step is I want to set up a credential manager so it will remember my username and password. I don't want to have to uh, put these in every time that I'm doing a push to GitHub. So the credential manager you use will be different based on if you're on a Mac versus on a PC. If you're on a Mac, it's called OS X Keychain. If you're on a PC, it would be manager. So let's go ahead uh, and set this up. I'm on a um, on a Mac, so I'm going to do git uh, config global credential helper OS X keychain. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the status of my repository. So you can see my branch is ahead of origin main by two commits. So let's go ahead and push. So it asks for my username because it doesn't have it yet. So that's my username. And now what do I use for my password? Well, I don't want to use my actual GitHub password. That's not what it even though it says password, that's not what it's asking for. What it wants is a personal access token. And I showed in a previous video how you generate that personal access token. And I've copied it to the clipboard. So I can just paste it. And you didn't see anything when I pasted. Like it doesn't show anything, but obviously it did work because it was able to do the push. So now let's go and I'm just going to hop over to um, our studio for a second and make another change. I could do this in the shell, obviously, but um, this is just a little faster going over here. Um, I'll save that and I'm just going to commit that. So close that. That. And now I'm going to hop back over to the shell here. So I'm back over in the shell. And if I say get status, you can see it's behind by one commit. So let's go ahead and push again. And you see that it remembered my password because I, I set it up with the credential manager. And that's it. And I can just use uh, Git as you want. And it'll work in RStudio, Visual Studio Code, and the shell.